Josh, that's still a big part of tonight's uh, Game 2 win against Southern Illinois. Four RBIs, another big night for you. Take us through those uh, three at-bats that you drove in runs. Uh, maybe we'll start with the uh, go-ahead RBI that came out a nice double to left center in the seventh. Um, it, was a, it was a fastball down. I was just looking to, to go up the middle with it, not do too much. I was a runner on first, you know, I was just trying to extend the inning, maybe pass it back to KJ, who's hitting behind me, you know, um, just trying to move on. And I uh, got a good pitch to hit uh, and drove it, drove it well. Also had a double down the left field line that drove in a run and a base hit up the middle. Uh, anything that stick out about either of those at-bats? Uh, I mean, I knew they were going to come after me with curveballs. Uh, they, they threw me a lot of fastballs yesterday and I just missed a couple of them. So uh, they were attacking me with curveballs and I took a real bad swing on that first one in the first inning. Um, it was in the dirt. And then um, I knew he was going to throw me another one, so I stayed on it, uh, roped it down the line for a double, and then um, the other one was just ball up the middle. I just wasn't trying to do too much, just kind of throw the hands. Work at the middle, saw that first pitch, and just took it right up the middle. As a starting catcher tonight, you were also a big part of the pitching success for the Boilermakers. Uh, let's start with Jordan Minch, the starter. Another good quality start from him. He kept it to one bad inning and gave the team a chance to win again. Oh, yeah. This this win is for sure on the pitchers. They absolutely just went out there and totally shoved it today. Minch started out well. Didn't have his best command. It wasn't the best thing I've seen from him, but it was enough to get the job done. He made big pitches and big innings. I mean, he had... Second and third, or bases loaded, nobody out, and he two strikeouts and a fly out, which was just absolutely huge. Got the whole team pumped up. And then um, Timmy comes in and absolutely just uh, shuts it down with a huge strikeout ball up. And then uh, Tim gets the first two, hits a guy, uh, passes on to Brad, and Brad just comes back and gets the 3-0 count and just comes back with three straight strikes and the strikeout. So, I mean, there's a lot of... A lot of big strikeouts today from the pitchers. And it seemed like a lot of those strikeouts, the, your mitt was really popping. Mm -hmm. Were they throwing as hard as it seemed like from the stands? Yeah, Jordan, Jordan in the first couple innings was definitely bringing it, and he had he had a lot of life on his fastball there towards the end. Um, you know, Tim, Tim, real good change of speed coming from the slow curveball and come back with a real hard fastball up to get him. And then, I mean, Brad's Brad was just out there absolutely blowing it by people with that sharp breaking slider through a real good slider bending that guy's knees so the weather's been good these two games of this series have been very competitive close games the fans have been into it have this kind of given you a, a look of what it could be here at Alexander Field I, I really think for sure I mean uh, I mean night games we're finally be able to play you know two night games in a weekend you know get a bigger crowd out here because it's nice and warm but um, I mean the life here is just amazing I mean after big strikeouts after an RBI you could hear them they're on their feet you know, there's a lot of kids here today cheering, so I mean, that's always good to see the kids out here. Uh, right. But it's just a lot of fun. <laughs> Congrats on the big night and the victory. Thanks, man. Tim McElroy, a first collegiate victory tonight in the, the middle game of the SIU series, a nice team win for Purdue. Uh, you came in in the seventh inning with the bases loaded. Uh, really the key at bat is for farms of, in terms of a pitching point of view for Purdue. Uh, bases loaded in a tie game. You went down the count 2-0 on the batter, came back and struck him out. Tell us about that. Well, came in and I was a little hyped up, ready to go. Um, after uh, throwing my first few pitches for warming up, I was starting to feel, feel everything out. And um, as the first two pitches came, um, I just had to <laughs> calm myself down a little bit. And then after I did that, I was able to bounce back and throw some strikes. And luckily, got him chasing. So what, what was the pitch you finished him off with in that sequence? Uh, that was a fastball. High fastball, high, high in the fastball, zone? Yeah. All right, so this year, you know, as a lefty, sometimes you've been this kind of a one-out lefty guy situation. Has it been tough getting used to that role after being a starter in high school? Um, it's been different. It hasn't been too tough, but uh, it's something you have to get used to definitely. But I'm enjoying what I'm doing now and look forward to keep on doing this. Really, you've had the most success of any reliever as far as stranding inherited runners. Is this just kind of blocking out that they're there? Yeah, I mean, that's where I think the starting from high school comes in. It's, I come in the game and I feel like I have fresh new starts, new game completely. Uh, obviously, I have to keep the runners in their positions, try not to let the running game get out of hand, but other than that, it's pretty easy. And another uh, quality start tonight from Jordan Minch, a fellow left-hander just like you. Uh, what would you see from him? Well, he was dealing all game, I guess. Um, he did his job. He was throwing hard. Um, getting guys to hit ground balls and trusting the guys behind him like he usually does and executed. Well, well done tonight. Congrats on the victory. Thank you.